I grew up in this neighborhood. Peggy Harpke remembers the Eaton family well. They lived across the street on Bliss Drive in Bell Fountain Neighbors. In 1981, their 17-year-old daughter ran away. I just knew that the family was terribly upset and that Carolyn ran away, but nothing was ever really found or nothing turned up about her. Belfort neighbors say there was a runaway report filed, but nothing ever came of it. Less than two months after Carolyn Eaton left home, a young girl with blonde hair was found dead on Valentine's Day in a wooded area off the interstate in northern Arizona. She was last seen with a man in his 60s at a truck stop. I, I, I can't believe it. Patty Wilkins worked at that truck stop, and it's believed she's the last person to have seen Carolyn alive. She spent 40 years wondering who the girl was. And it's only been me and her, and now she's got a family. Isn't that great? It doesn't get any better. And investigators say family DNA is what finally led them from Arizona to St. Louis. They were uh, pointed in this direction by genetics um, through the DNA that they collected at the time, even though DNA wasn't was barely even a thing in, in the early 80s. St. Louis County never had an open case for Carolyn Eaton, but they have dozens of others and they're always looking for new leads. Hope springs eternal, uh, both with the families, hopefully, and, and with the investigators. Um, Every day, uh, we hope for some case like this to be solved. Carolyn Eaton's parents are no longer alive. Her name appears in her mother Isla's obituary. Peggy Harpke says she remains friends with her former neighbors. We still, you know, stay in touch and uh, yeah, sometimes we'll talk about, you know, just mentioning, wonder what happened. Now they have part of that answer. It won't ever bring her back, but it does provide some closure and for the family, and I think that means a whole lot. Investigators in Arizona saying that there are still some leads as to who killed Carolyn Eaton back in 1982. They can't share any of those tonight, but they do say again, having her identified after 40 years is a big piece of this. And Sam, I actually talked to the woman who lives in the home where Carolyn Eaton lived back in the 1980s, and she tells me that her son was actually murdered back in 2013, and hearing that this case has some closure 40 years later gives hope for her to find the person who killed her son so hopefully there's a lot of families who really feel some hope if they're in that position tonight yeah Sam. hopefully they won't have to wait 40 years to get that alexis thank you